speaking of answers, so I've been telling you, I got a new ride here as far as the, the helicopters that I'm flying. I got the, uh, the, the Cabri G2. And so the other day I was flying it again and, you know, I got the hang of it, you know, cause I was telling you the main rotor turns the opposite way. So it changes your, your pedal inputs. Right. So I got that down to the point I got it down good enough. I should say that, um, we tried to do some auto rotations, which is you simulate engine failure, yada, yada, yada. And I have to tell you something. I, the only way for me to describe what it's like to do an auto rotation in the Cabri G2 after coming from a Robinson R22 is, do you remember in Ferris Bueller's day off when those guys took the Ferrari, the, the, the parking attendants took the Ferrari out? And remember when they went over the hill and they were smiling? That's what it was like. Because the R22, which I fucking love that helicopter, by the way. I love that helicopter because if you can hover in that thing, if you can fly that thing, if you can do auto rotations in that thing, it's only going to get easier from what I've heard from other pilots because, you know, I'm fucking a weekend warrior. But I will tell you, that was my experience going to the Cabri G2. It was fucking amazing. Okay? Like, I... The way that you just lock in, I felt like I was coming down and I was I was floating on a cloud versus the 22 where I had to be like 10 knots faster and I was dropping like a fucking stone. I now have a three-bladed, fully articulated main rotor system as opposed to a two-bladed, semi-articulated, whatever the fuck you call it. And um, I had finally gotten those fucking things down in the 22. And now all my pedal inputs were different. You know, collective down. Now it's left left pedal instead of right pedal. And But what I love is, is I always felt like in the R22, there was like a sliver of RPMs that you could play with where before you were too low and the low RPM horn would come on and then you'd go to correct it and then, then it would fucking start to overspeed and it really took a high level of skill. Or, you know, if you fly as not often as I do, it took a long time for me to fuck. And I do, I've done a million of those things and I was really starting to feel it in the 22 when you start to feel the RPMs coming up and you almost don't even have to listen to, look at the gauge, you can just hear it. And, you know, I was catching them coming up and I was really, I really had it all the way down. My flare was nice, you know. Um, I kept fucking up the flare where I would I'd pull the stick too far back and you would balloon up. And then you're going to lose all your inertia and your main rotor blade. And then you're going to slam down on the ground, probably blow out your skids and fuck up your back. Right. Which who wants to do that? Right. So I was finally getting that down. So anyways, I did like five of them. And it was so much easier and it was so much slower, I felt, in the 22 that, like, within four auto rotations, we moved on to the more advanced shit that I was doing with the 22, which is basically, rather than picking out a spot, you know, when you first learn them, you just, you're looking out and you're looking at a spot that you're going to you know, glide down to. We started doing the shit where, towards the end, where you're over your spot. So you, you just let the thing drop, you bleed off all your forward airspeed and you just let it drop. And then, you know, you've lost all your forward airspeed, which you're going to have to recover. And you had to judge it when you'd nose it back down, you know, and you're almost like backing up to get to the spot. And then you nose it over, regain your airspeed and then do your flare. So it took me forever to get that level in the 22. I did five auto rotations and my instructor was going, all right, let's try it like over the spot. So I'm thinking in my head, like, well, we're already moving on to advanced all rotation. This is fucking cool as hell. So um, very, 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 very excited. And um, I shouldn't keep, I'm not coming down on Robinsons because they're fucking great helicopters. And every time I see an R22, anytime I look in the cockpit, I just smile. I've had so many, so many great times in that fucking thing. But um I think most people in aviation, you start out and then, you know, they're the low end things and then you move on to something else. I couldn't be more fucking thrilled uh, with this thing. So any pilots out there considering, you know, you know, what you want to buy, definitely, you know, or what you want to, if you, I don't know, I think you got to buy those things. I just lucked out with, there's a, there's a deal here with the, the people I'm, I'm, I rent from got one. Um, 
but like if you're thinking about buying one, I mean, I, this is like free advertising. I cannot fucking tell you. Like I love this helicopter so much. I'm I'm trying to find merch on the internet, but then I'm like, am I going to be that dork on, who shows up? Like this is my hat because this is the helicopter I fly. You know, like they're sponsoring me with my 250 hours. <laughs> <laughs> but um it was so fucking it was just it just made my goddamn week um i am in love with that helicopter uh i still love the robinsons and all that shit so i'm not trying to cause any bullshit here i'm just being honest i love those helicopters and now i'm flying this one and i love this one even more and it's just fucking amazing and it's great that it's out there because i think it's going to make the robinsons Robinson's even better. Um, so there you go. Um, all right, Rambo helicopter. Bill, with your knowledge and understanding of helicopters, yeah, pretty limited, uh, what's your take on helicopter scenes in Rambos, in the Rambos? Well, I always loved them, obviously. Um, this is what I'll say about, not specifically Rambo, I'll just say in general in movies is... When somebody's getting chased and then they run over and just start, they start up a helicopter like it's a fucking car and then they just drive away. Um, that's the fucking hel- most hilarious thing, especially if it's like a turbine engine, like a jet engine. Like, you know, there's a whole s- startup procedure that I've watched. You should check it out. Look up uh, A Star 350 startup procedure. And there's a thing when you go to start it up where the engine is heating up and uh, you, it gets up to a certain temperature, like 700 degrees, and then you have to back it down or something like that, roll down the throttle uh, for a few seconds before rolling it back up, or you could actually burn down the fucking helicopter. You could actually have a fire because of what's going on in the background. Um, so whenever I watch one of these movies and somebody gets in, even if you fly what I fly, it's, there's a whole startup procedure, especially if the fucking engine is, is like ice cold. And, um, you know, you got to let the belts roll up. You got to let, you know, you roll up the power. They got attention. The, the, the clutch light has to come out. There's a whole startup. Procedure. I mean, you can just, you can fucking do it. I guess you could just do it. It's not good for the engine or anything else, and I would be nervous about that. But I guess, you know, if my option was getting eaten by fucking zombies. Um, but even then, it takes a little bit for it to roll up to fucking speed. That That's my only issue about it. And then also, whenever they shoot out the fucking tail rotor, and then the person just spins and spins and spins and spins and spins, you know, any helicopter pilot, unless they were brand new, the second you start spinning is you, you roll down to the detent is what they call it. So then it's basically like putting it in neutral. So now what's keeping the main rotor turning is the ship falling rather than uh, the torque of the engine. So whatever, you've, you've rolled down to neutral. So neither one of those, the, the, um, the tail rotor not working now and the main rotor still spinning, you're not dealing with the, uh, the engine turning that anymore. So there's no torque wanting to turn the, the ship in the opposite direction that the main rotor is turning. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, you would roll down, and then with your pedals, what you had left from the... Oh, what if they sh- oh wait, no, they shot it out, so then you don't have that. Maybe you would. I don't know. I've never had my tail rotor shot out. Um. I saw this story down in Orange County, right? Down in Orange County, California, this guy gave helicopter tours for 30 years. 30 years without incident. Hands the business off to his son, the American dream. I built it up for 30 years. Here you go, son. Make the family and the family name proud. All right, Dad, I love you. Right? This poor kid, five days in, he's supposed to give a tour to a couple. Only the dude shows up. The kid thought it was weird, but he's like, I need the money. I got to give him a tour. Right? So he takes this guy up. Ten minutes into the tour, the dude fucking jumped out. Yeah. Five days in. Five days in from the balloons and the cake. We love you, son. Keep the family tree going. The traditional life. Five fucking days later, this kid, he probably barely had the speech down. Just sitting there flying the helicopter. All right, if you look out the left side of the aircraft, that's Orange County. There's over 27 miles of beaches. Uh, put your seatbelt back on. 27 miles of beaches. Was established as a county in 1903. Sir, please don't open the door. Sir, what are you doing? Sir, no, no, don't, don't. Oh my god! Oh my 
God, what the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck! Air traffic control, I don't know who's on this frequency, but you really need some kind of fucking helicopter. Five days in. So I read further into the story. Turns out the guy who jumped out, he was 61 years old, terminally ill. He was in pain every day. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with him, and he had had enough. At that point, that guy immediately became a hero in my world, right? You know what I love about him? Not only did he make the decision, he didn't go out like some pussy, right? <laughs> Handful of pills, watching a romantic comedy, wrapped in an Afghan that Nana made. Fuck that. This guy went out like a man. Take me up in a chopper, I'm looking at the land I love, and then I'm jumping out like a superhero. I loved it. should have been wearing a fucking cape. I can't imagine how elated he must have been on that helicopter ride up after finally, you know, just taking back control of his life. Like, fuck you, disease, I decide. You know, ripping tubes out, gets a burger, shotguns a beer, take me up in the chop. He probably had his fucking foot on the dashboard. You know, he's not even listening to this guy giving the tour, right? Over, over 27 miles of beaches, put, put your seatbelt back on. Establishes the county in 1903. Sir, please don't try to open the door. No!